Hi and welcome to this spell along tutorial for the Prank Club Love Spell Power Up Edition spell. Um, so this video is just going to guide you through the process of using all the contents of the Prank Club Love Spell kit and um, to create a little spell jar like this um, to help with strengthening and protecting a relationship that you already have or you're already in. Um, so this is one of three love spell kits that are available at the moment so we've got um, power up which is this one um, banish and attract so this is the guide for power up just to check that you're on the right one um, so this is what the spell kit looks like um, it comes in a little box like this and it's the power up love spell kit so this spell has been created to help boost positive feelings and raise vibrations when it comes to love in a relationship it's sometimes we can get a little bit stuck in a rut when it comes to a relationship and it's easy to start like, taking things for granted um, and just kind of getting used to just each other um, and not maybe appreciating um, the positive the positive side of the relationship so um, hopefully by focusing on the positive things and by um, reinvesting in that relationship and performing this spell it'll help to give it a bit of a lift and also to protect the bond that you've already got and maybe even spice things up a little bit which who wouldn't want that so um first of all what we're going to do is to lay out all the ingredients as we do with any spell just so that you've got everything to hand ready for when you're performing the spell so everything that i've got here is just the contents of the spell kit which is what you will have also um and so the only additions that I have are um, this candle holder that just helps to hold the candle a little bit more securely and I have this incense holder which is covered in wax um, which is just to, to hold the incense obviously and also the lighter and it's got a special love lighter. So the first thing to do is to light the incense which is what I've already done here. Um, and what we're doing is we're just letting that smoke from the incense just waft around the room and that just cleanses the energy in the space which is important before you start any spell work really um, so I've already lit this and it's already been cleansing the energy in this space it's um, a white sage incense stick a white sage incense stick which we use because white sage is known for cleansing energy and creating a nice neutral space it's the same as what's in like a smudge stick like this what you might have already seen so this is a white sage smudge stick and you can use something like this as well if you've got it okay so once we've laid everything out and we're ready to start and we've cleansed the energy the next thing to do is kind of to get grounded really and to get ourselves in the space um, and ready to set the intention in the spell so the best way to do that is to just to take sit comfortably first of all and to take a nice deep breath in through the nose and close down your eyes or lower your gaze if you wish and then to just blow that out through the mouth and just repeat another nice deep breath in through the nose and then just blowing out through the mouth all this doing is with these nice deep breaths is just relaxing us just relaxing the body relaxing the mind into the space so that we're ready to focus on the intention that we want to set in the spell so again just bringing your awareness into the room by taking some nice deep breaths and anything that you've had to do before this or anything you've got to do maybe after this or the rest of the day or tomorrow just try and leave that outside for now and try and just enjoy this moment just for yourself just to celebrate the relationship or just to take some self-care really is that that's what these these spells and rituals are all about okay so now we're ready and we're grounded we're ready to start the spell um so for this as well actually to, to help with grounding um this is the essential oil blend that comes with this spell kit and you can just put um, a couple of drops of that on your palm if you want and just um, inhale helps again with getting grounded and centered and this um, essential oil blend is um it's got rosemary oil in it which is known for protection it's got geranium rose oil in it just a little bit of that which because it smells quite strong and that's again for love and femininity it's really good for anything to do with like balancing hormones or um kind of balancing our mood as well which we have got all over that um and also black pepper um which is good for energy and passion 
Um, so we want to bring some of that to our relationships as well. So, um, and they're all blended with a little bit of almond oil as well, just as a carrier oil. So, what we can do now is we can start the spell by lighting the candle. Um, and the candle in this spell kit is a red candle, and red is for love um, and for passion. Some passion. So we're just going to start off by just lighting that. And then just put it somewhere safe, so I've put it in, in this little candle holder, or if you've got anything else that can hold the candle, that's fine. Just put that in there. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to start to, to build the spell jar. Um, so you just take the jar, this is a little bottle um, that comes in the kit, but you can use, if you're repeating this spell or you've not got the kit, you can use any um, any kind of jar, like a jam jar or any sort of jar that, that can contain the spell. So we just take the cork out to start with. And then we're just going to start putting the ingredients in. So the first thing that we're going to add in is some salt. And we always start with this in any spell work because salt is really good for protecting the spell. So protecting us while we're performing the spell. So we're just going to start by tipping some of that in. Ah, this is goes everywhere. Start tipping some of that. Come on, salt. Easier to fold the back that way. Or you can take it out and put it in with your fingers, it might be easier. We're just going to tip some of that salt in. So we're just looking for kind of about a third, a third to a half full, really, depending on what you want to put in there. It's all up to you how much you put in it. Also, if you wanted to add anything else into your ritual, then feel free to do that as well. You don't have to just stick to what's in the box. Okay, so that's the salt. The next thing we're going to put in is some rose. So this is dried rose petals. And rose, I think everyone knows this, but rose is associated with love and like everlasting love, really, um, and passion again. Um, so, just gonna put a few then in there. Put more in if you want more passion. And it also looks really pretty as well. So that's the rose petals in. And the next thing, I love this one. This is a valerian which is a herb that is really used quite a lot in love potions and it has been like for centuries and centuries but um, the the myth, well the story that I read around Valerian is that um, I think it was in Roman times um, the women used to give this to their husbands um, or the partners before they went away to like to war or on expeditions because it stopped it made sure that they were being faithful to stop them from cheating um, and I think it's because it's known for helping sleep and kind of calm and emotion so maybe it like calmed their, their lust a little bit and their lust go to sleep I don't know but anyway that's what we're using it's well known um, in love potions and it is also a really good sleep remedy but you have to be careful if you're eating it or putting it in tea because it does have some side effects but we'll be fine putting it in this jar. It smells a bit funky as well. Okay, so put a little bit of valerian in there. Um, and that, yeah, that, like I say, it's known for um, stopping infidel infidelity and like just making sure we've got a lot of loyalty in our relationships, which is what we want, isn't it, really? Um, okay. And then the next thing we put in is some crystals. So the crystals for this spell are tourmalated quartz so tourmaline is um, known for protection and we want to protect our relationship from any negative influences or any outside influences that's that's the point of using that so you can put a couple of pieces of the tourmalated quartz in and then the other crystal in here which is the kind of pale pink color is rose quartz and rose quartz is for unconditional love it's for unconditional love for yourself, but it's also really good for relationships um, and love spells. So we've got some rose quartz and some tourmalade quartz, and then the top is getting nice and full now, this jar. Okay, so that's the main ingredients. You just need, um, there's a little scroll as well in your kit, a little paper scroll, which is like mega cute. There we go. And we just need to keep that to one side, so we're just going to use that in a minute. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set our intention into the spell jar. So now we've got all the main ingredients in. Oh, we can add a little bit of the essential oil blend as well. If you want, just drop a few drops of that in there. 
And so now we're going to set our intention. It's important to set your intention to the jar before you seal it up, just that's the whole point of these fell jars is to set an intention um, with them. So if you just want to take a nice deep breath in through the nose again and blow that up in the mouth. We're just going to close down your eyes or we'll just bring your focus to this jar right now. I want you to think of what this intention is with this jar. What is it that you are doing here? Why are you performing this ritual? What is it you want to increase or protect in your relationship? So if you can picture your partner in front of you right now, just visualise them, what they look like. I hope you know that <laughs> in front of you. And try and think about how they make you feel. What is it about them that you love so much? And think about the things you love the most. And think about those feelings that that person gives you. Is it love, support, joy, laughter, passion? What does this relationship bring? What does this person bring to your life? So take a nice deep breath in. Try and focus on that now. Try and focus on this person and what it is that they bring to you. What's so great about this relationship? As we hold on to those feelings, those positive feelings, just going to repeat this blessing in your head or out loud, it's up to you. I am so thankful for the relationship I share with your partner's name and all the love and joy it brings. I ask the universe to support and protect us and continue to bless us with a lifetime of love, joy and passion as we grow together. Again. I am so thankful for the relationship I share with and all the love and joy it brings. I ask the universe to support and protect us and continue to bless us with a lifetime of love, joy and passion as we grow together. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? <laughs> Quite okay. So when you're ready, if you just want to open your eyes, and the last thing to do before we seal this up is to put the names of you and your partner on this little scroll so you can just take a little ring off and unscroll it and then just write the names down on there and then roll it back up again you can also write what it is that you wish for you for your both and for your relationship as well whatever you want to write on there really it's just the intention of the jar but particularly important to write your names on there and then we just put that inside the jar with everything else and then pop the cork back on the top. And then the next thing to do is to seal the spell jar up, which is the bit that gets a little bit messy. So I use this little incense stand to put the jar on just to stop it from getting on the table. And then you just take the candle, burn it away, and we're just gonna use the wax from the candle just to seal the jar up. So you just start to gently drip the wax onto the cork on the top and then as it fills up it'll start to drip down the sides and then that will seal up the jar and it does take a little while to do but it's just taking that time just to tune into that intention while you're doing this and just sealing up the jar and then once you've done that it will look a little bit like one of these where the, the wax is just dripping down the side and it's all nice and sealed up inside and then all that you need to do now is just to keep your jar um, somewhere where you can see it regularly, somewhere nice and safe. Um, and whenever you see it, whenever you look at it, take a moment just to tune into that feeling, that happiness, that positive feelings around your relationship. And it will just help to protect that and to attract more of that to you and your partner and your relationship. So I hope you enjoyed that Crank Club Love Spell to power up your relationship. If you want to check out any more of the spells, then the, the link will be down below and there's lots more available on the website 
or you can join if you've not already join our online community via facebook or instagram it's just crank club uk um, and i hope to see you all very soon for another spell